it's Paul here and welcome along everyone. Uh, different format for a change. Uh, this video I'm going to be finishing off a rough turn bowl, hopefully a picture here, uh, that I did back in March. And this is what I ended up with. Now I had a few problems along the way, um, which you'll see as, as you go along. Uh, it's all end grain uh, because the grain on this runs that way. And I honestly thought that I was going to come up with something very special. Um, and basically it's become quite thin that it's much harder to get a finish on it. Well, it was five months ago I turned these blanks. And it's also the first time I've opened the bag. Inside we've got two silver birch bowls. And you can see by the rims that they've warped a little bit. And there's also two oak bowls which by the looks of it haven't moved too much at all. Now I did seal the oak bowls with uh, shellac uh, because they were so wet when I turned them. The oak bowls have actually lost about 40% of their weight uh, as they've dried and the silver birch have only lost about 20%. Checking the moisture levels on them all, they're all down to about a maximum of 12%. So the first process is to true up the tenon and the outside of the bowl. It's also a good idea to make sure you keep that centre point on your rough turned bowl because uh, that will allow you just to leave your mounting back on the lathe and hopefully get everything running through as quickly as possible. So I'm just nibbling away at the tenon here just trying to make sure that the bowl doesn't move. I'll soon find out that it does actually move and I'll have to remount it a different way. I'm just using my detail gauge here to put the angle on, on the tenon as it's got such a low angle and I can get into much tighter spaces. Using the bowl gauge to lightly throw up the bowl and take it to a final shape. to define that final shape and remove any tool marks. And here is probably the first time that I've used my new homemade bowl sander on a video. Um, it does actually take a fair bit of practice to get used to especially on the, the more centre part of the bowl because it just doesn't spin very much. So I'm really pleased with the way the outside was finished up. Uh, I've sand, only sanded the 400 grit and I'm going to leave it as it is because I intend to do an, an oil finish. So I've reversed the bowl on the chuck and I'm now working on the inside and using my small bowl gouge I'm just trying to slowly true up the inside. Now this is all end grain uh, due to the orientation of the, the blank that I used and so therefore ideally you need to work from the centre of the bowl outwards as that way you'll be cutting into supportive wood and hopefully reducing tear rate which didn't have to work too well. So I'm trying various methods with scrapers, shear scraping and stuff like that just to try and cut out all the tear out and try and remove the, the tool marks I've got on the bottom. But with the bowl so thin there's, there's a fair bit of vibration and it's just really really hard to clean it up properly.
even the rim uh, just requires a delicate touch just to, to bring it all into shape where it being so thin. So more sanding with the bowl sander and I really should have probably hand sanded the lower part of the bowl. That one I could probably remove more of the tool marks and tear out what's in there. And to finish off, uh, we reverse the bowl back in the chuck again, and I'm just going to use the detail gouge again, just to nibble away at the tenon as slowly as possible. And here is the main mistake I did with the bowl. Because the base was so thin and I used a ordinary wood chisel just to try and remove the little nub and it was also end grain, it just basically popped right out of the bottom. So I decided to drill an even bigger hole with something like a 30mm force and a bit and then just using a piece of teak uh, to make a plug for the hole. I glue that in with ordinary wood glue, leave it overnight and then just need to sand it all up. Using an M6 bolt I can basically attach my bowl sander head to, to my drill press which just makes sanding so much easier. I'm just using a bit of methylated spirits here or denatured alcohol as you call it across the pond and just to give it a clean up. And finally uh, a coat of Danish oil uh, over the course of a few days I did give this about three coats. So I made a few mistakes for making this bowl. Um, several lessons to be learnt. Hopefully when I turn the other bowl blank uh, it will come out a bit better. So if you're new here please do subscribe. Click the little bell button next to the subscribe afterwards and at least that way you'll get notified every time I upload a video. Uh, I do put up regular videos most weeks. Uh, for my existing subscribers again as per usual a big big thank you very much and I hope you've enjoyed this video. So thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next project video. Bye.